If you want to see how we got this fender painted with chalkboard paint from Rust-Oleum, then sit tight because I got a video for you. You guys having fun? Yeah. You having fun, Emma? Today I'm going to be painting this fender using this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint. Let's get started. Alright, so I have Casey Civic's fender. It's his old junk one. Uh, it's got some body damage and whatnot. But I thought it would be a great opportunity to take this fender, scuff it up, and shoot it with some chalkboard paint. Now I have painted vehicles with chalkboard paint before. Unfortunately, I don't have any videos or pictures of it but I might do one coming up in the near future. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that. What you'll need is the Duplicolors grease and wax remover or the Rust-Oleum works just as fine. Um, I already have some put in a spray bottle. We have the chalkboard paint. It's already been scuffed. I'm gonna wipe it down one last time with the wax and grease remover. Then after that, I'm gonna put two coats of this chalkboard paint over the fender. Now, if you're wondering what type of sandpaper I used, I used 220 grit and scuffed this fender up. As you can see, there's spots that aren't scuffed, but this is just a demonstration. You'll want to make sure to thoroughly clean, wipe it down, and scuff the areas. If it's a glossy surface, just make it look dull. This does not require a primer. This stuff adheres really well, and it works really good. So, let's get started. All right, it's currently like 12 degrees outside here in Kansas. Um, so you wanna make sure this is warmed up really well to where you can feel how warm it is on the can. Shake it up, you can put it in hot water. I've just been using a heat gun to warm it up and it's where it needs to be. Make sure the garage is at least warm enough to where it's not gonna run. And I'll show you how I paint this, doing it with my method. I can't explain my method, you'll just have to watch. Make sure to wear a mask, by the way. All right, so this is what you want. You want it to have a really glossy, reflective surface. Basically, the whole panel needs to be wet. Um, that's how you should shoot paint anyways, to where it all blends and has one smooth, wet look to it. That's how you keep from, from tiger striping. It has a really nice, glossy finish. We'll go one more coat over this after this dries for about 10 minutes. Now, I didn't prep this thing to look super perfect, so there are imperfections in it. You can see them right there. Um, this is just a demonstration, and I'll show you how I do that after it dries in 10 minutes. All right, now that I let it dry for 10 minutes, um, it has this flat satin look to it. You're basically just going to want to coat it one more time and then let it dry for another 10 minutes. If you want it to dry faster, you can use a heat gun, but you might get debris in the paint, just so you know. But I tend to use heat guns sometimes to speed up the process. It's starting to look pretty good, have that nice flat look. Um, it says wait to... It says wait 24 hours before applying any chalk over the chalkboard paint. Now I do have to remind you, imperfections will show up really easily on black. 
Um, if you didn't already know this, for an example, right here, this is Bondo Crack, and you can really see it very well. Um, there's also Bondo Crack here as well. And down here, and as you can see down here, there's an imperfections as well. I didn't go through and thoroughly sand this just because it is a junk fender. But you will want to make sure that it is nice and smooth to the feel before applying paint if you want that nice clean finish. But as you can see, it's turning out pretty good. Um, we'll come back in 24 hours and we will put some chalk over it. All right, the fender's been dry. It's been 24 hours since I painted it. I have this sidewalk chalk I bought for like 97 cents from Walmart. Now when it's fully dry, after 24 hours, you'll prepare the surface for use by rubbing the side of the chalk over the entire surface and then cleaning it up. And after that, you'll erase it by wiping it down and then it's ready to be used. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some blue and this is how you'll do it. Now that we've got it like that, we'll wipe it down and then we're ready to use it. All right, now that we got the surface prepared, wiped down, you can go ahead and start drawing on it. My art skills. It's not very good. But anyways, you get the idea. Now you can start having people sign your fenders or hood or whatever you painted. Or maybe doing this for your kids. Either way, it'll be ready to be used now. So that's basically it for this. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I have more videos that are similar to this. And I have more videos coming. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching. God bless.